What's up residents, Alistair here. In the golden age of paleontology that we are in right now, some would think that we know nearly all there is to know about Earth's greatest creatures, the dinosaurs. Well, hate to be a buzzkill here, but a recent discovery has proven to us that we have merely scraped the surface of all there is to know about dinosaurs. Scales, feathers, fur, and fingernail-like rods sticking out from its body? The newly discovered dinosaur we are going to talk about in today's video is a true Frankenstein of a creature created by Mother Earth. Before we get into the details about this amazing new discovery, let's hear a quick word from our video sponsor, Frag Pro Shooter. One of the most played mobile shooter games of the year with nearly 1 million active players every day. If you would like to get your hands on this game, you will be able to get special rewards if you use our link down in the description. The rules to this game are simple. Collect characters, build and strategize with your own personal set of badasses, and then seek and destroy. The game adds new content all the time, like the character Archon, an electric theme warrior that is a real powerhouse. With three modes to choose from, like Street Frag here, where it's just a simple and quick game to see who can destroy their one target first, perfect to help out with those boring minutes while waiting for an appointment or a bus ride, Frag Pro Shooter has a lot of variety that you'll likely enjoy. So go ahead and get your free rewards by using the link in the description. If you are someone who likes mobile games, this could really be something for you. Now let's get back to the dinosaurs. Named Ubi Rajara, Jubatus, meaning Lord of the Spear, this strange-looking creature's fossils were discovered in the northern reaches of Brazil in South America. The discovery team, led by a guy literally called Dino Frey from the State Museum of Natural History in Karlsruhe, Germany, found the remains of Jubatus whilst examining slabs of limestone in the region. Little did they know that they were about to discover a brand new dinosaur which definitely sits near the top of the most bizarre dinosaurs ever discovered. After taking high-resolution X-ray photographs of the limestone slabs, the paleontologists found the torso of the creature coming in at around 50 centimeters or 20 inches in size, decayed remains of the creature's body organs, feathers, fur, and yes, strange rod-like protrusions reaching out from the dinosaur's shoulders inside. And what they concluded was that this dinosaur was related to Comsognathus, the dinosaur that found fame in the Lost World Jurassic Park. Let's talk more about these crazy biological features found on Jubatus. First off, it's been long known that certain branches of dinosaurs had both scales and feathers, and the Jubatus does not disappoint when it comes to this. Likely having an underbelly significantly covered in feathers, this dinosaur once again pushes the science behind many species of dinosaurs indeed having bird-like feathers. But let's get into the weird stuff now. Jubatus had what researchers believed to be a mane reaching down its back. You heard that right. This dinosaur had fur, or at least proto-feathers that had extremely similar characteristics to the fur we see on modern mammals. While not quite as magnificent as a lion's mane, the mane of the Jubatus is still estimated to be around 4 inches thick, making it the largest dinosaur mane ever discovered. The researchers believe this mane could be controlled and manipulated for different circumstances, like puffing up to look more intimidating or laying the fur down flat to the body, making the creature more streamlined, reducing wind resistance and helping it reach a higher speed. This could be to attract males, ward off predators, or even to control body temperature. So we have a dinosaur that has scales, feathers, and now fur, but there's still one more adaptation that will really make your head spin. Two rods made of keratin, the same stuff that makes up your fingernails, protruded 15 centimeters or 6 inches from each of the animal's shoulders. These rods have never been seen before on any dinosaur. The exact purpose of these rods may always go unknown. But with more physical features on Earth's creatures, it likely had a lot to do with bragging rights amongst others of its kind, similar to deer antlers or peacock feathers, all to establish the individual in the pecking order of life to be able to breed, control, and look good. But it doesn't change the fact that this animal simply looked a bit strange. What circumstances that forced the dinosaur to evolve in this way may never be known. To have feathers, fur, and these fingernail rods all in the same body just supports the idea that dinosaurs were nature's mad scientist project. The variety of dinosaur species that lived over their 165 million year reign may just be the most diverse, large, and downright weird that the planet will ever see. 
The discovery of Ubijara jubatus has further pushed our knowledge of the dinosaurs, giving us a better understanding of the vast variety of these animals there once was. But it also proves there's a lot to learn when it comes to the Earth's ancient past. We will likely never discover all the dinosaurs that once lived, and even now, with nearly 1,000 different dinosaur species found, this number could be significantly less than a percent of all the dinosaurs that have placed their mighty footsteps on the hunk of rock we call home. So tell us what you think of the new dinosaur. It has some of the strangest biology ever found, and it may quickly become a favorite of dinosaur lovers all around the world. Remember to subscribe and stomp that notification button to stay up to date on future dino discoveries. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and tell us what your favorite part of this new dinosaur was. I've been Alistair from Dangerville, and we'll see you residents in the next one. <laughs>